What's up guys, Richard here and welcome to this edition of Hyclopedia. Today's a special one as I'm kind of exploring a place that not too many people in Singapore know about. It's a... Uh, excuse me, the terrain's a bit messy around here. Um, it's a former palace of the uh, Johor royal family I believe and um, it's still owned by them as far as I know or partly owned by them and it's smack in the middle of Singapore not too far from the Botanic Gardens so uh, I'll tell you a bit more about it in a minute let's go and do some exploring I guess this must have been the servants' quarters because there's kind of like a kitchen set up in the back there and the rooms here are all very small. I'm guessing this was the main drop-off area for vehicles when the house was still intact and you can just imagine some dignitaries pulling up here in the limos and uh, the servants opening the doors and welcoming them to this former glorious place. So a little bit of history about this place. It's, the, it's called the Istana Woodnook. If, that correct, if that's the correct pronunciation, I'm not sure. I apologize if it's incorrect. It's an abandoned mansion that once belonged to Sultan Abu Bakr of Johor. Now, it was built in the late 19th century for the Sultan's fourth wife, Sultana Khadija. She then eventually sold it to one of the Sultan's sons, Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar. He rebuilt this place around 1935 as a present to his Scottish-born wife. Then later on the house was used as a general's headquarters and a military hospital. Now during the Second World War it was actually bombed by the Japanese in 1942 and according to online sources that bombing killed around 700 people. So hence this place has a bad reputation as being haunted which probably keeps quite a few adventurers away. Now it was known for its distinctive blue tiled roof which was completed in 1951 but the roof was destroyed by a fire in 2006 and the place has uh, fallen into disarray since then. But if you look around there are lots of the roof tiles still lying around. Quite a nice pretty blue roof tile here. Uh, this place is well hidden but it's located right next to the Botanic Gardens which is prime real estate in Singapore and this site is said to be worth around 4.7 billion Singapore dollars not million, billion so if you've got any spare change and you fancy a fixer-upper then this is your place 
In some of the earlier videos and um, footage I've seen of this place, it still looked pretty... There's quite a few open spaces nearby, but um, I guess the jungle has taken back what was rightly its in the last few years because it's so overgrown that um, it's really difficult just to walk around the grounds. If you guys didn't know already, I'm a big fan of using essential oils as a mosquito repellent. And believe me, you certainly need a mosquito repellent here. They're, they're everywhere. It's really bad. Now, a couple of my more eagle-eyed viewers noticed in one of my earlier videos that I was using Bai Hua Yo as a repellent. In this video, I'm going a bit local with my choice and I've got some nutmeg oil from Penang that my daughter picked up for me when she went on a school trip there. So I'm using this as a mosquito repellent today and uh, so far so good. It's working pretty well. Talking of nutmeg, on my last um, visit to the Botanic Gardens uh, I came across a couple of nutmeg trees and um, the, one of the guides at the Botanic Gardens was telling me about it. Maybe some of you guys can tell me and whether there's any nutmeg trees around Singapore that I could go and check out because uh, I'd really like to uh, go and see some up close. We are done at Istana Woodnook and uh, now I'm going to try and find my way home although I'm not too sure which way to go because um, getting here wasn't very easy either but um, there's some more people here so I'm, I'm going with them so hopefully we'll be fine. Well, I wish I'd have uh, come with those guys because the way they came was so much easier than the way I came. Literally like two minutes walk and we were out onto the road. Whereas the way I came was at least 20 minutes through really long grass and because it's been raining a lot recently it was all wet and my legs totally soaked through with water and still are. Luckily I bought a change of clothes so 
I'm going to head off towards the Botanic Gardens now and um, change into something more comfortable. I have reached the Botanic Gardens and um, in summary I'd say the this morning's exploration was kind of interesting although I'm sure most people or many people find it a bit boring because there wasn't a fat lot there and the house is in a pretty bad state of repair but um if like me you like history and you want to just get a glimpse of what was obviously formerly kind of very palatial house and how it's kind of fallen into disarray then it's still interesting well my biggest disappointment was that it's so overgrown that you can't really get a good view of the outside of the house but um still it was a nice couple of hours and uh, so now I'm off to get something to eat and I thought that because I've spent the morning in the posh part of Singapore I figured I should go somewhere posh to have some lunch I am here at Casa Verde it's a really nice um, cafe that's located in the Botanic Gardens um, usually I sit outside because it's really nice outside I'll show some shots of that but today there's some kind of cleaning work or something going on outside and it is super noisy so I'm sitting inside just for the sake that you can hear me if you want to um, this place is really good I mean they have good Western food and good Eastern food as well and good local food everything's good in fact been here a number of times with my family for brunch on Sundays because we really like it and um, it's a bit pricier than you pay in other places in Singapore but I think it's worth it because the uh, quality of the food is always nice and the presentation is nice so you don't mind paying a little bit extra especially for the atmosphere usually not today all well, my food is here I ordered a mi siam which is a noodle dish and you get a free soya milk or bean curd with it and I also ordered a cappuccino so uh, let's tuck in looks pretty good I mean there's um, there's four or five big fat shrimp in here and we've got a boiled egg and the noodles the vermicelli and some tofu and um, kind of like a sweet and sour soup pretty tasty and as an added bonus they're playing George Harrison which is uh, makes it even better I guess it would be sweet but it's kind of it's okay it's not so sweet that I can't drink it but it's, it's, it's okay hmm. pretty good that's filled the hole, as we say in the black country where I'm from in England. Okay guys, so I finished my food and my coffee and I have to say, as usual, it was on point, really nice. Um, I had to come away from there to record because there's a lot of fountains there and the background noise is very very loud but um so that's the end of today's adventure I had a good couple of hours looking around the Istana Woodnook and then um, a lovely lunch 
slash brunch at Casa Verde and now I'm heading back towards the MRT and home so I uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see any more of my future content and um, if you really love me just like my wife does then click notifications so you don't miss any future episodes uh, so that's it for today guys take it easy see you next time over and out